Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is another video in the digital electronic series. In the previous videos, I had discussed different number systems and their conversions. This video is again about the basic concepts of the digital circuits. In this video, I am going to discuss about the logic gates. So, if we have to say what is logic gate, this is actually the fundamental component which is used to design different digital circuits. Or we can say this is a most fundamental digital circuit, which is very simple device, which can have two or more inputs, but there is always only one output. Only one output, but we can have multiple inputs. Now the output of the logic gates that can be either high or low. High means 1, low means 0. Now depending upon that what is the combination of our inputs and which type of gate we are using, the output can be either 0 or it can be 1. The function of each logic gates that will be represented by a Boolean expression means it will give the relationship between input variables and the output. We can have more than two inputs for logic gates, but in this particular discussion, I am going to take only two inputs. That two input variables we are going to denote by Boolean variables. A and B. These are known as Boolean variables. And the output variable we are going to denote by Y. Input variables with A and B and output variable with Y. So let's discuss the different gates which we have, they can be categorized into three different categories. In total, we have seven gates, three are fundam the basic gates, three, two are universal and two are exclusive gates. So, let us start with the basic gates. The basic gates are OR gate. AND gate and third one is NOT gate. So, this NOT gate is the only exceptional gate where we have only one input. In all other gates, we have always two inputs. So, let us discuss all of them one by one. So, let us start with OR the gate. Now, OR gate is having two inputs. A and B and the output is Y. So, this output is actually high output Y that is high, high means 1 when either A or B is high. Either A or B is high. Now, A can have value 0, we can also have value 0. So, when both are 0, 0, it means both are low, the output is low. Another possibility is that A is low, B is high. We can also have the combination then A is high and B is low or we can have both A and B, both are high, high. Now, as per this OR, OR means either A or B. Now, here what we see, A is low but B is high. So, output is high. Here A is high but B is low, but since it is an OR operation, so again Y is 1. And in the last case, both are 1, 1, output is 1. So, we can express this Y as A or B. So, which can be written as A or B. Now, this is not used as plus, it is A or B. So, if we have to represent the OR gate, its representation is like this. 
the OR gate is represented like this. Here we have two inputs A and B, and this is output Y. So, this one is actually known as truth table of the logic gate. This is the truth table where we have two inputs and there is one output. So, basically, truth table gives the output corresponding to different combinations of the inputs. So, we are going to discuss the truth tables of each gate. So, so if we are having three inputs, let us say A, B, C, then Y is expressed A or B or C. Means if any of the three inputs is high, then output is going to be high in that case. But we are going to stick only up to two input gates. Then we have AND gate. So, AND gate means if we have two inputs A and B and the corresponding output is Y. Again, there are four possible combinations that both are 0, 0, A0, B1, A1, B0, A1, B1. Then this gets says that output is high only when both A and B, they are high because this is the AND operation. So, in the first case, both are 0, 0, so output is low. In second case, A is low, that's why output is again low. In third case, B is low, that's why again output is low. But the fourth case, when both A and B, they are 1, 1, then output is 1. So, here we express this variable y as A and B. So, which can be written as A dot B. y is equals to A dot B. This is the Boolean expression giving the relationship between input variables and the output. This AND gate is represented by the symbol. We have two inputs A and B and there is only one output Y. So, this is a truth table for the AND gate giving the relationship between inputs and outputs. So, the third basic gate which we have that is the NOT gate. Now, NOT gate is actually the gate which is only gate where we have only one input. So, this is actually giving us the NOT operation on the applied variable. So, if the input is A, this is how we represent the NOT gate, means A is input, Y is output, then Y is given as A complement. Now, complement means if A is 0, then Y is 1. If A is 1, then Y is 0, means it is just the complement of the input. So, in this case, in the truth table, we have only two possibilities that either A is 0 or A is 1. When A is 0, then Y is 1. When A is 1, then Y is 0. So, this is how we write the Boolean expression that Y is equals to A complement B. So, this is also known as inversion operation or the complementation. And usually, the NOT operation, uh, NOT gate is also known as an inverter that it is actually inverting the input. The output is actually invert of the input. That is why it is also known as an inverter. Now, these are the three basic gates. Using these three basic gates, we can actually design the universal gates. So, next class of the gates is universal gates. Under that, we have four type of gate which is known as NAND gate and fifth type of gate is NOR gate because in total we have seven gates. NAND gate and NOR gate. So, this NAND gate is actually created using the combination of AND and NOR gate. NOR is the combination of OR and NOR gate. So, if we 
लेट स्टार्ट विद द नैंड गेट इन नैंड गेट firstly we have and then we have not operation means and is represented like this for not operation we have to add a bubble over here or what can we do we can say we have a not operation here which gives us a symbol of nand gate as this one a b and here we have y so now if we write the truth table we have two inputs a and b and we have output y 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 these are the inputs and says a and b a and b both are zero zero then the output is in case of and it is zero but since we are doing further a not operation so that will make it one so here again output for the and gate is zero since we are using a not gate so it makes the output one here again one last case when both a and b they are high for the and gate output is one since we have a not gate over here that makes the output of nand gate as zero so it's just the not operation of the and gate so if we have to write the boolean expression then y is expressed as a and b and then whole complement then we have the second universal gate which is nor gate now nor gate is the combination of or gate and not gate the output of or gate that is given as input to the not gate and anyway, we here we have y so from here we come to the representation of nor gate by adding a bubble over here so this is the actually representation of nor gate now if we write the truth table again we have two inputs a and b and there is one output y these a and b they can be 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 0 0 in case of or gate output is 0 but since we have a not gate over here it makes this one as 1 a or b which makes a actual output of or gate as 1 not gate makes it 0 again in case of or gate when input is 1 0 output is 1 not gate makes it 0 same is there for the last case so the boolean expression is written as a or b and then its complement now why this nand and nor they are used as uh, referred as universal gates because we can design any of the digital circuit using these two gates only we can realize even realize the different type of gates using these universal gates only we can use only nand gate to design and gates we can use only nor gate to design and gate and so on so that's why they are known as universal gates and the last category in the gates is exclusive gates we have exclusive gates exclusive gates gives us the last two different type of gates first is xor gate second one is xnor gate xor gate and xnor gate xor gate is actually short form for exclusive or exclusive or means exclusively only one of the input should be high in order to get the output to be high now what we mean by the statement 
if we start with the XOR gate, we have two inputs A and B and there is one output Y. The possible combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So what we need to check over here, we need to check the exclusive option that exclusively only one of the input should be high in order to get the output to be high. So that is the case when we have either 0, 1 or 1, 0 case. So when we have both inputs as 0, 0, then output is 0. When both the inputs are 1, 1, then output is 0. And in these two particular conditions, when either only A is high or only B is high, then output is 1, 1. So this exclusive OR is written as A XOR B. So this is a XOR representation means exclusive OR. The gate is represented like the symbol. Exclusive OR operation. Here we have two inputs A and B and here we have output Y. While the X exclusive NOR is just the NOT operation added to this exclusive OR. So accordingly we have to write the truth table. So then we have X NOR gate. X NOR means XOR. Then we have to combine a NOT gate here, which gives us the symbol of X NOR gate as an added bubble here with two inputs A and B, and here we have output Y. So A, B, Y, the truth table 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So we just need to do the NOT operation of this. Means when both the inputs are 0, 0, the output will be 1. When one of the input is high, output will be 0. And when both the inputs are high, then again output is 1. So this exclusive NOR operation is written as AX NOR be like this, or it is also written as like this. Now these exclusive or gates, they don't exist for three or more variables case. In this case, we always have only two inputs because we can have the case only when exclusively one of the input is high. So they are particularly suitable only when we have two inputs. We don't go with the three input exclusive or gate or exclusive nor gate. Now these gates, they can be used to design different type of circuits, combinational as well as a sequential circuits. In the coming videos, I am going to dif discuss different types of the circuits, both sequential as well as a combinational circuits. If you think this video is helpful for you, then do think of subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching the video.